If a Scientologist is a street sweeper, it is his responsibility to apply Scientology to his zone and whoever he may interact with. And no, it's not an option, not if he's a real Scientologist. And when his head hits the pillow each night, he'd better know he did all he could. Yes, all manner of reasons could exist to not do so, but let's face it, he might be able to fool others, but not himself. Similarly, a housewife has the same responsibilities for her family and extending out to the school her children attend and so forth. Then again, a corporate executive. It isn't a matter of simply being a wise member or a this member or a that member. When you stepped on the path and had your first cognition, you also became a part of the urgent mission to carry it forth. These are the times now, people, okay? These are the times we will all remember. Were you there? What did you do? I think you know that I am there for you. And I do care so very, very, very much. So what do you say? We're going to clean this place up? Huh? Yeah! Okay. Because we're counting on you. <laughs> okay? All right? Dweller H. psychiatric drugs at the core of all education failures and which were raking violence across American schoolyards. Spelling out the links, he dropped letters in the laps of the 100 most powerful people in media and education. And then again, right to the top. We were able to work with the Food and Drug Administration and talk to them a little bit about this and raise some questions. And sure enough, uh, about three or four months later, the cover of Time Magazine, Are We Drugging Our Kids Too Much? And yes, of course, we are. And we have to do something about it. And that started an avalanche with legislation in states across the U.S., an outright ban in the U.K., and the FDA finally mandating black warning labels on psychopharmaceuticals. But when it comes to whole track suppression, Mr. Cruz doesn't only hit them at the flanks. Not only has Tom Cruz personally toured more people through CCHR than anyone I've ever ever known or seen. But he also has gotten people that he knows to do the same thing. Tom is more involved in CCHR than any other Scientologist that I've come across in my 27 years. Oh, I'm going hard at those guys. I'm going to end their reign. You know, these uh, psychiatrists, I just, I've had it. Absolutely had it. It's disgusting to me. We actually have uh, an easier time getting people off heroin than methadone or these psychiatric drugs, and I've worked very diligently to educate people uh, about this. How they can justify it and how it suddenly becomes this reality of it's okay, you know, because other people can't confront it. Psychiatry doesn't work. Uh, you look at the things that psychiatry has brought to society, we now are living in a time where we spend over $700 billion a year on education. Uh, psych driven and where, where, where are we? Okay, you know what? Go to guns. I just had it. Absolutely had it. And they can't call it disease because if they did call it disease, they would have to prove, uh, you know, medically what these things are. You know, this whole thing about chemical imbalance. Well, they can't prove any of that. No mercy. None. Then there's the backstage briefings to reporters in the afterglow of Seflax. CCHR on the website. I'm, I'm telling you, when you study the history of psychiatry and the effects of it, who these guys are, it is, it's crimes against humanity. At which point, at least 50 million more were reading why Tom Cruise wants psychiatry outlawed. <laughs> <laughs> 